Hi you guys, Claire Bear here. I'm here in the woods today celebrating 50k subs. So I thought what better way to celebrate than to grab my nature hike. The nature hike is so special to me. It's how I started this channel and I absolutely love it. So I've come to my favorite pond and we're gonna have a lovely night. It's gonna be one degree tonight, so really cold. I'm gonna test out my winter gear and I'm just so excited to have some fresh air in my lungs and chill out. Let's go. I struggled getting this tent in my rucksack today. I'm so used to tiny tops and stuff now. It's so big! Look at that! It's a palace, huh? The tent is up. What I love about this tent is that you can have the doors open on both sides so if you're like me and you love being out in the fresh air even when it's cold i just love the fresh cold air and then obviously if you want to keep the heat in just shut one or both of the doors all right guys the sun is just starting to go down i'll show you around First of all, sleep system. Got my usual full foam mat, Thermarest XM, and my Rab 900. So that's going to keep me nice and toasty. Oh, yeah, and my pillow, which is a Trichology A Loft. Lofty, love that. So here I've got my clothes. This looks really big. It's actually, it compresses right down in my rucksack, but because it's a lot of down stuff. I've undone it just to let it sort of poof out a little bit so that when I wear it it'll be nice and you know lofty. Uh, toiletries, I've got some hand warmery stuff here, we'll have a look at later. My little sit mat so I don't get a cold bum. Water, stove, food and my rucksack is empty over there. My filming stuff there. As it's cold today I'm actually gonna keep that in there. Amazing! Look at that! Oh, it's just perfect. I've got my little thermometer today. It is currently five degrees and it's gonna keep dropping, of course, now. So it's time to get nice and warm. I've got something else that's new. These are some down trousers. They are Nature Hike. They do come up really short. I've got a medium, they're unisex. When I sit down, I'll show you, they kind of rise up towards my knees. I'm about five foot six, so if you're much taller, if you're a tall guy, you know, these are gonna be like long shorts on you. But yeah, I'm gonna see if they make a difference. If you can see, when I bend my legs, they are riding up to about here. So really, I could do with them longer. But I think they'll still make a nice bit of difference. Nice and comfy. Oh, I'm gonna be so poofy. My lovely down jacket, as always, from Decathlon. And my down booties. My sun dicks. I love a sun dick. I mean, this should keep me really warm. <laughs> I might not even have to get in my sleeping bag tonight. I need to sleep on the floor like this. Like the Michelin man. Oh, I'm so flumpy. <laughs> that is really warm. Right, let's get my gloves on. I've got my... Uh, fleece stuff so like a fleece neck warmer my little fleece hat that I always use and I bought my fleece gloves today these are to sleep in in case I get cold hands during the night and I've got my fingerless gloves that I'm gonna put on right now love fingerless gloves these are just cheapy 99p shop type things <laughs> it, feels, it feels so round and floofy so some people have said to me that when you're wearing down or sleeping in down you want to wear as few layers on your body as possible so really thin clothes so that the heat from your body gets sort of in the down fibers and keeps you warm and insulated in my experience that doesn't work for me i have slept in this bag in minus 2.5 and been cold because i wasn't wearing enough layers and i had to put more layers on and then when i did have more layers on i was warm in the bag so each to their own i know some people swear by that but I need the layers. Next thing I have is two forms of hand warmers. So this is my Zippo 
hand warmer so you put fuel in this and it burns for up to 12 hours hot hands i've seen these before i've not used them simply because they're single use and i feel like it's a bit wasteful so i've got both not used these before this one i know and love um so i'm gonna get that going now that's going see that it's amazing isn't it I love these things, absolute lifesavers in the winter. So these come with a little felt bag uh, that you're supposed to use because they do get really hot and it stops you sort of burning yourself on it. Apparently, you just open the packet and it comes to life. Oh, it's like a little tea bag. Oh, that's so weird. I thought it'd be plasticky. Huh. Apparently the air, it's just activated by the air. So once you open the packet, warms up it's not doing anything yet crows are out hi crows Today's delicious food. Tyred curry. Oh, I forgot about that. I've got wine today because I'm celebrating. So apologies, I am a complete lightweight. Those little hot hands sachets things are starting to warm up now. I've got them in my socks at the moment, not against my skin in case they do go burning. So I've got two pairs of socks on and I've got them between the two socks. I've also not got them directly against the down booties because I don't want them getting ruined or anything, but yeah. They feel really nice, actually. I'm having some trouble lighting this transient today for the first time ever. I've never used it in cold temperatures before. It's currently three point something. I'm not sure if cold temperatures make a difference to light in tranges. Let me know. This is something I haven't yet encountered. Um, and if I can't get my transient going, I can't have my dinner. <laughs> so I'm open. I can get it going. This is like trying to set fire to water. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's an issue with this fuel being too cold. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna put it in my clothes for a little while just to get it sort of body temperature and then try and light it again. In the meantime, How many things can you get on your head? Uh, let's get some wine on the go. Cheers, you guys. To all of you guys who have been here since the start, you are amazing. I love you all. And to everyone who's new to the channel, hello, welcome. You're all amazing, all 50,000 of you. I can't believe it. And it means the world to me when I have comments that's people saying, that I've inspired them to get out more and sort of live life to the fullest. And um, I really appreciate hearing about that because I, I just think it's so important. Whatever happens in life, I want to know that I did what I could with the time that I had and I had an absolute blast and I hope everyone else gets to do the same thing. Right, I'm going to try this again. Let's try get me stove lit. Mama's hungry. Hey! Oh, it was too cold then. Okay. That's interesting. So with a trangia, if you're going to use it in the winter, if it's cold, it's not going to light. Temperature is currently 2.6. I had to warm that up with my body heat and it's uh, it's lit fine now. So that's something new I've learned today. You've seen the moon tonight. I don't know if you can see it. With the lights on. Let me show you. Up there. Ain't it beautiful? Last little bit. Thank you again. Ah. Oh yeah, right. Let's try and do some night sky photography. I am absolutely loving life. I just love being out here. 
I love winter camping because it's just so, the air feels so clean, I think is the word. And it just feels so cozy. There's no one about. I've had hardly any bugs today. Amazing, not to have to worry about blood sucking parasites. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just in love with tonight. Bedtime for me in a minute, I think. It is 0.6 degrees at the moment. So really cold. Might freeze overnight, I don't know. Might be a frost in the morning. That would be amazing. I've shut the back door now. Just keep it a bit warmer for bedtime. What with it being so cold, I've got to put my electronics in my sleeping bag with me and my water so that it doesn't freeze. Oh my God, that's so cozy. It's midnight and it's in minus temps now. It's a little bit sparkly. Night, wild ones. <sighs> Morning, guys. What's the time? God. Eight o'clock. Wow. And it is 0 0.3 degrees. Let's have a look out. The other door. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. so amazing I've absolutely loved tonight I've been looking forward all year to just really nice cold weather and it's been absolutely beautiful these little hand warmers were amazing I had these in my sleeping bag actually I can still feel a little bit of heat off them now probably not enough to do much but yeah they're they're really good I did prop up my bed last night sometimes I don't like to lay flat and that just makes me feel like at home with all my pillows and yeah, just little things like when I take my gloves off, when you have to do stuff, whip them off, and I just chuck them in my clothes, in my coat, and that just keeps them nice and warm so that when I put them back on, they're nice and toasty. The Tranja this morning, I had to fill up, wrap it in a bag, and then put it under my clothes again, just warm it with my body heat for half an hour before I could light it. That's really interesting. I didn't know there was an issue with cold temperatures and alcohol stoves. So yeah, I stayed lovely and toasty all through the night. I did, when I woke up in the morning, I thought it was still night time because I woke up like this, I thought it was dark, but it was actually eight in the morning. So I'd slept through the whole night with no issue. Got down to just below freezing, minus 0.5. and stayed lovely and warm, had a really gorgeous time. So tonight I'm gonna be coming back out again. I'm gonna try and do a Christmas camp. So I'm gonna use my tarp and I'm gonna try and cook a Christmas dinner. <laughs> Some kind of semblance of a Christmas dinner. But I think I'm gonna be using three stoves. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little bit crazy. I'm quite excited for it. So definitely tune in for the next installment to see how that goes. And yeah, that's about it from me for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Take care, bye.